and welcome to my channel Fred Makes Things. Uh, today is an unboxing video so Fred opens things. Uh, we're doing the Pixie Box. Um, it look, probably looks a little more flashy than usual. I've got some really interesting light coming in through my um, window right now. So if there's lots of light and stuff going on I apologize. But yeah here you go. Pixie Box unboxing. So, what is the Pixie Box? If you don't know what pi the Pixie Box is, it is a monthly subscription box provided by Sophie and Toffee, a resin company. Um, they do uh, subscription boxes and then they also sell like molds and um, things, resin and things that go in the resin to make fun resin crafts. I guess. Uh, the Pixie Box is their um, most economically priced subscription box. They have a couple of different ones to choose from. I do the Pixie Box because, like I said, it's fairly economical. I am also very new to resin. Um, and because of that, what, uh, I liked the idea of the Pixie Box because it gives you a bunch of different things surrounded by a single theme rather than their slightly more expensive and uh, older elves box which gives you like a dedicated project um because i'm so new to resin i've only been doing it for about a year and i only really do like one casting we'll say a month um just because of time um, I wanted to have as many options as possible, so that's why I have the Pixie Box. Um, the pricing for you has been up on the screen. I want to say it's around $30, $35 a month. Um, I buy it in six-month increments, um, and shipping is extra. I believe it's about $10 a box, so when you go to buy it, um, the shipping can feel a bit painful. But I enjoy the Pixie Box, um, and I enjoy the theming. Um, and most things that come along with it. So yeah, uh, let's take a look inside this box. As always, I took it out of its, um, shipping packaging, um, and then set it down right for you. I haven't even popped it open or looked inside. I do have an idea of what this month's theme is just because, right, like I follow them on Instagram and stuff and they give spoilers. Um, but I have not looked inside. So every month you get a, a like a little card. This month it's Happy Easter. Um, and then the interior shows you everything that you get inside the box. Every single month you do get 20 items. Um, and they include molds, um, glitters, uh, pigments, mica powders, uh, embellishments, things like that, but they never really have like a dedicated um, specific project to do. It's always kind of up to your own imagination. So I'm going to set this to the side so I can refer back to it as I'm opening things up. Like I said, it's Happy Easter. That is the thing. Um, and what they've been doing for the last Well, at least since September, they've been giving you the boxes early enough so that you can actually make the projects um, for the upcoming holiday. So like September's was like a spooky kind of box. November's was a Christmas box. December's was a Valentine's box. And now we're here in February with our Easter box. And here's the inside. So we'll do the molds first because they're what's sitting on the top and they're kind of the star of the show. Um, they usually are. So um, we'll do the main um, mold first, the egg. This was the spoiler that I was 100% sure about. So we've got this part of the egg and then we have this part of the egg. I'll open them for you right now. Okay, I take it back. This is the egg, and then this is a bowl. Is it too dark? 
I, I just, I can't tell. Um, if it's too dark when I'm editing it, I'll take photos of each individual thing for you. Um, but yeah, so this is a bowl. It has like little rose detailing, it looks like, on it with like a little vine. Um, some of their sneak peeks have been showing the egg sitting in this bowl, so that's why I thought it was like part of it, but it's not. It's really pretty. It's a cute, like it's a decent sized little bowl. So that'll be fun to make. Um, and then these are the eggs we have. It's like a really intricate looking egg. So we have like, one of these is the top. One of these is the bottom. Um, and then we have like a little topper too for it. So that's really cute. That's really cool. Maybe I'll also clip, um, if I can find like the material for Sophie and Toffee so that you could see what it actually looks like. Or actually, one second. One of my molds is a whole bunch of like little pieces of like plastic or something. I'm guessing it's from the mold, like from the casting material that I'm going to have to go in and like dig out before I can use this. Yeah, it's the casting material. But yeah, um, here's a picture, like a sample photo of what it's supposed to look like. So quite pretty. We'll see how uh, how much like, work I can do to make it like that intricate. Um, so yeah, we've got the egg. Um, let's continue with the other two molds. We have in here, we have the rabbit display mold and the bunny shaker mold. So here's the bunny display mold. So I'm guessing like this is the bunny, right? It's obvious. And then these are like the little stands so the bunny can stand upright. Um, and then we have this little shaker mold and it comes with the films for it. So you don't have to cut out your own films. It's already included that is really cool because I hate cutting out the films so that's a lot of fun um, and then we have this divider mixing cup I've been wanting to pick up one of these so that's really cool that you get it basically how it works is that you can put different colors of um, resin that you've mixed up and then you can pour it and get some really cool effects that way so I'm really excited for that and um, then we have two dyes we have the Mirandi pigment dyes in two random colors teal green and maroon they sent tea green and maroon they sent this maroon in uh, the last box as well, and it's not maroon, it is beige. Um, and then this is, of course, like quite a nice looking green. I keep these in their packages in case they spill. What's in here? Oh, this I think is the UV torch. That would be cool to have too. Yeah, it's a UV torch. I'm guessing I have to supply my own batteries, but that's okay. I'm guessing it's a fairly standard battery. Yeah. Two triple A's. Um, and then it looks like the rest are embellishments so we have half diamond beads right those would be perfect on the egg so that makes sense and then we have Easter themed 
polymer clay pieces. You've got some bunnies, some carrots, some random sprinkles, uh, broken shells, little chicks it looks like. That's really cute. Um, then we have sparkle glitter in pastels. That's really cool too. Um, and then we have assorted confetti in bunnies, stars, flowers, hearts, a few different kinds of stars actually, and butterflies. It's a black and like a bronzy shade. That's really cool. Um, and then we've got stickers. We've got bunnies that glow in the dark and glow in the dark eggs. That's neat. Two pieces. Fun. I think that they're probably random choices. So I got bunnies and, um, eggs but on the back it shows a few different options and that looks like it's it <clears throat> so to recap it's a pretty quick one this month we have the um bunny display we have the shaker mold we have the three-piece egg mold. Then we have this really cool bowl mold. We have this pouring tray, what do they call it? Divider mixing silicone cup. We've got these like little diamonds that are half diamond beads that will fit onto here nicely. We've got the stickers. We've got the little confetti, Easter confetti. We've got the gold and bronze confetti. We've got the films for the shaker mold. Um, the pastel glitters and the two dies. So what did you think? Or what do you think? Did you get this box? Oh. And the UV light. I'm actually really excited for this because I have like the other one that the lamp and it works nicely, but to be able to like do a quick kind of cure, it would be nice to have this. So I'm not constantly having to move my molds all over the place. Anyway, um, did you get this box? Do you enjoy this box? Are you excited for the egg? I'm excited for the egg. Uh, I'm going to make that probably right away. I'm going to make everything right away. Um, if you saw my resin review for last month, you know that, well, that was only last week. So, um, you will know that I have a resin crafting area set up in my basement right now I'm um, gonna haven't taken it apart yet so I'm going to make these and then I'll put all of that stuff away so that I can focus on other things but that's exciting it means that I have time and space to be able to make this really quickly and that is exciting for me um yeah so what are you most excited to see like I said it's going to be the egg I'm really excited for this bowl too I think it'd make a good so really nice like dish size and I could do a lot of stuff with like the roses and stuff I think um but yeah so if you want to see what this looks like um uh, maybe subscribe I do the Sophie and Toffee pixie box unboxing once a month um and my goal this year is to do one resin video a month as well um the resin review won't be up for a few weeks um just because I don't want all of my Monday videos to be resin but look for it um in two weeks I think two three weeks either uh, Monday February 20th or the 27th 
we'll see um what we see i haven't quite figured it out um but yeah so like the video if you uh, made it to the end or if you liked this video or if you're excited for this box are you excited for an easter themed box i am um and yeah so i'm gonna go so with all that being said i'm gonna say yes thank you so much for watching and i will talk with you again soon bye